Trey Scott, aka Taekwondo Trey on PlayStation Network, back again with a video about PS3 online multiplayer. Some of my most viewed videos for the past three years are about PS3 online only games that no longer have servers working. So in 2022, I decided to switch things up and make a video about PS3 games that still have functional question mark online multiplayer. I do not have every single PS3 game ever released for the system, but I do have a little over 200 different titles that should provide us a nice cross section of the PS3 library. I'm requesting viewers to comment on any other PS3 titles that have working online servers still, or if in the future let us know if any of these games featured in this video are no longer supported online. So without further ado, let's begin. I recorded this gameplay footage from the last week of February 2022 up to March 26, 2022. Starting off with Soul Calibur 4. I played this game during the week, uh, during the day, but I only found one person to play against. I played about five matches and I lost every time, but it was a lot of fun to play Soul Calibur 4 against an opponent. Does anyone know if Soul Calibur 5 still has an active player base? Because I was considering buying it. PS3 multiplayer is free to play, as in there is no monthly fee like Xbox Live or PlayStation Network on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Later in the PS3's life cycle, developers started putting online passcodes in their games that were a one-time code players entered to get access to the online multiplayer content of a game. If someone bought a used copy of the game, developers would charge for an online pass, usually costing $9.99. This was a way developers could make some money from uh, used video games. It seems most of these codes have all expired if not already been redeemed, which usually prompts you to purchase an online pass from the PlayStation Store. Don't let that discourage you, because in many cases, once you're at the store screen, you'll see that most developers have made the online passes free at this point. Though I did encounter four games that were still charging for online passes, all $9.99 each. I declined to purchase them since I didn't know how many people played or if they still worked. Ninja Gaiden 3, Saints Row the 3rd, Saints Row 4, and Tekken Tag Tournament 2 were those four games that wanted you to buy an online pass. Speaking of Tekken, Tekken 6 is still free to play in almost any time of the day, any day of the week has several opponents online. Tekken 6 is my favorite online game to play, so if you ever want some easy wins, look up Taekwondo Trey, the Tekken 6 jobber. These are some games that most likely will work if there are enough players online. Some I saw other players in lobbies looking for a match, but there just wasn't enough people to hold the match. Most others, there was no one online when I was attempting to play the game. These games are Armored Core 5, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Revelations, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty 3, Dead Rising 2, Dungeon Siege 3, Dynasty Warrior 7, Dead Island, Far Cry 2, Fear 3, Mass Effect 3, Medal of Honor Warfighter, Persona 4 Arena, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, Pure, Rage, Red Faction Guerrilla, The Darkness, The Darkness 2, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas, Two Worlds 2, Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine, Watch Dogs, and Battlefield 4 Medal of Honor Warfighter, I was spawned into an empty map awaiting for other players to join. In the Assassin's Creed and Rage games, there was one other player trying to have a match, but we needed more players for the match to take place. If anyone is playing the Persona Arena games, let me know, because I want to play them. Though I know they are re-releasing Ultimax, so maybe it doesn't work or the player base has moved on to the new version. Call of Duty 3 was a PS3 launch title, and when going online you'll spawn into a war game and be able to play by yourself. I would love to play Call of Duty 3 with others just to be able to say that I played a PS3 launch title online in 2022. Of course, some of these games online may not work. I am just hypothesizing that with enough people at the right time, matches could take place. Ultra Street Fighter 4 is still playable on PlayStation Network and I got destroyed, but it's still a fun game to play. Fighting games have a higher probability of having matches in since you only need two players compared to 
most other genres in which online multiplayer usually requires more participants. Sony has a web page of games with decommissioned servers on the internet, link in the description, though the list is not complete. For example, Final Fantasy XIV and DC Universe Online are not on the list. Some of the games I tried would show a message to the effect of, the title of the game could not connect to the servers, try again later. I deem these games as not having working online modes and the video games are as follows. 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa, Army of Two, Beijing 2008 Olympics, Borderlands, Borderlands 2, Brink, Burnout Paradise, Formula One Championship Edition, Fear 2, FIFA Soccer 11, FIFA 14, Face Breaker, Gran Turismo 5, Gran Turismo 6, Killzone 2, Killzone 3, Major League Baseball 2K7, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, Little Big Planet, Little Big Planet 2, Max Payne 3, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriot, Midnight Club Los Angeles, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, Motorstorm Pacific Rift, NBA 2K16, NBA Live 10, NCAA Basketball 10, NCAA Football 12, Need for Speed Carbon, Need for Speed Shift Unleashed 2, Need for Speed Undercover, NHL 12, Resistance 2, Saints Row 2, Sean White Skateboarding, SOCOM 4, Stuntman Ignition, TNA Impact Wrestling, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2, Transformers Dark of the Moon, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception, Unreal Tournament 3, Warhawk. If you update to the newest version of Metal Gear Solid 4's online multiplayer option, it's not even there, as if never existing. It seems that almost all PS3 first party titles no longer have online feature support. Another weird thing, the Beijing 2008 Olympics game, if you updated it to its newest version, you couldn't get past the start screen. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh, I found one opponent and won 2 out of 5 matches against them, which is the best I did in any of the fighting games. And it was a lot of fun, I would say. And uh, you should try it out. I also played Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 uh, later on, and there was two people in a lobby playing the game, so it's still active. Battlefield Bad Company 2 had two other players in the game uh, during a random weekday during the day. Medal of Honor two from 2010 had quite a few people in the match when I tried it out. Uh, Call of Duty World at War had people playing it. First try, tempting to log on to it, and there was plenty of people in the match. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 also had plenty of people in the match, and it was the first time I tried it, uh, and there was people uh, online. And it was the Call of Duty that I actually did the best in was Modern Warfare 2. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, there was plenty of different games being played when I tried it out of zombies. I didn't try out the, the regular multiplayer when you're just fighting against each other. But there was tons of people playing zombies so one would assume that Black Ops multiplayer is also very active. Uh, Black Ops 2 also works in Nuketown. I got beat really bad. Uh, my copies of Modern Warfare 3 and Ghost were too scratched up to play the multiplayer part of it, but one would assume all Call of Duty PS3 games are still playable online, and they most likely have enough people to play a game logged in at one time. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, uh, you know, 
like all the other cartilages work, and it was my least favorite one. I thought it kind of sucked. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare still has an active player base and is a fun, light-hearted third-person shooter. It is an online-only game, so once the server shut down, uh, it won't be playable. But as for now, there's still plenty of people playing it, and uh, you should check it out. Resident Evil 6, the online co-op still works, but I got spawned in a bad place at a bad time, and I did not know what I was doing, and my partner quickly died after I you know, spawned into the game shortly afterwards. And so that didn't last long. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City's online multiplayer still works, which is kind of surprising since the developer's Slant 6 games went out of business already. Uh, it's a fun fighting against humans while the zombies are after the players. And I think it's an interesting take on the Resident Evil Universe multiplayer. And uh, I know some people will be hating on it, but I think... Operation Raccoon City is a decent game. I think it's impressive they can get this many uh, character models running around with the players online. Resident Evil, Gold, Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition still had a few games going on when I played it. A mode with two teams of two players, I think it was called Team Slayers, and they were trying to get the most zombie kills. I did not try playing the story campaign online though, but one would assume uh, there was probably somebody playing it. After trying a few times, eventually I found a player online to play raid mode with me in the first Resident Evil Revelations game. One would assume that the final Resident Evil game for PS3, Revelations 2's online mo modes could, would still work since all the other Resident Evil games did online. Okay, we're done here. In Dead Island Riptide, I was able to join other players in a game, but I died pretty quickly and seemed to respawn far away from the other players, which kind of stunk. Dead Space 2 had me laughing when I spawned into the game looking like a deformed alien frog. Dead Space 2 also had a buy the online pass thing, but you could also choose a two day free trial of the online features, which is what I did. Perhaps due to not knowing the game mechanics and the game controls very well, I felt the human characters were way overpowered compared to the alien team. The longer you wait to respawn, the stronger alien type you can become. The longer you wait to respawn. I thought that was kind of cool. It was an interesting game. Battlefield 3 had several players online the second time I checked, I attempted to play it, you know, online. The first time during the day, no one was on. In the evenings, more players are online, it seems like, you know, because people aren't at work or at school. UFC Undisputed 2009 had one opponent waiting online to knock me out in record time, as I have rarely played this game and am not good at it at all. But... It's impressive to see UFC Undisputed 2009 servers are still functional, despite there being two sequels to it and the publisher THQ being out of business for several years at this point. I played Crisis 3 during a weekend and had about six people playing online at the time. Uh, it's a fairly fun shooter, but uh, like most of uh, these shooting games I'm playing, I'm not good at it though. I'd say the most surprising game you can still play online was Top Spin 3. I played two matches against the same opponent and lost both of them, but it's impressive that a ran random tennis game from 2011 is still playable online 11 years later. Uh, and I was also wondering, does anyone know if any of the three Virtua Tennis games that was released on PlayStation 3 are still playable online?
Don't know if Top Spin 3 would be playable online though. I don't I didn't have a copy of Top Spin 3. Uh, Far Cry 3 had several people online, but people were dropping in and out of the game several times for some reason. The game types were weird, like set the oil barrel on fire. But what do you expect from a franchise like Far Cry? Uh, it seems that most of the online shooting game types that were most active were team-based and not free-for-alls out of all the shooting games that I played. Which, uh... Is different. Grand Theft Auto 4 Online still works on PS3, but I could only play in Mafia Work Mode. There was not enough players online to play other modes, though in just about every mode there were players waiting for other players in the lobby. Grand Theft Auto 4's online user interface was the worst one I came across, because first you load into single player, use your cell phone to choose what online mode you wish to participate in, and if there is not enough people in that specific mode, you have to go all the way back to single player and start the process again to check if enough players are in a different mode. What a pain. I did a lot of wa waiting in lobbies to make this video. But GTA 4's was the worst. The last installment of the franchise, Army of Two The Devil's Cartel, had about five online games going on an early weekend morning. Uh, Army of Two The Devil's Cartel is a fun shoot 'em up co op experience with tons of explosions and visceral hand to hand combat. It's a, a decent game to play. There's no really versus mode on it, it's just, just co op. Bioshock 2 is the most fun first person shooter I played online for this video. I played several team deathmatch games known as Civil War mode in Bioshock 2. The gameplay was fun and each time a big daddy suit appears it's a mad dash to claim it and then it becomes a desperate struggle to defeat whoever becomes the big daddy. Out of the shooting games I played, Bioshock 2 is definitely the multiplayer I would prefer to revisit and I have received game invites to play again so it seems the Bioshock 2 community remains active still. With the different powers you could use, I think is why I thought it was better, you know, it's just not shooting, you can use the, the elemental powers like the electric stuff and the fire. I thought that was pretty cool. NHL Legacy Edition was the final hockey game released on the PS3 in 2015, and I was privileged to play an online game against an opponent in 2022. It took a while to connect, though. Coincidentally, we both selected the Pittsburgh Penguins. The match went into overtime, tied 1-1, to -1, and ended in a shootout with my adversary winning the game, which kind of stinks because I don't like shootouts. Unfortunately, the online service for NHL Legacy Edition will end in a few months, so log in and get in as many games as you can until then. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle was released late in the PS3's life cycle. I think it was like 2014 when it came out in America and has become quite pricey and has become quite a pricey title to obtain. Despite that, after several attempts during various times of the week, I was able to connect to another player for an online match. I had no chance of winning because they had played hundreds of matches, but I still enjoyed the match. With the R version of this game being released later in 2022, for the new consoles, it will be interesting to see if the original PS3 game servers are shut down or if all players will migrate to the newer version of the game, leaving the original PS3 game servers a completely deserted online wasteland. It would certainly be bizarre if adventurous PS3 gamers kept on playing this excellent JoJo title. Look at that juggle. 
Unlike Brotherhood and Revelations, Assassin's Creed 3 had enough players online to hold some matches. The Assassin's Creed multiplayer is unique due to its stealth gameplay mechanics, but it seemed like there was not much of a chance to fight back against your opponent if they attacked you, which is kind of lame, but then again I might have known, not known what I was doing very well. One would draw the conclusion that if Assassin's Creed 4 or Rogue had multiplayer, the online would still be working, but I can't be positive in saying so since I do not own those titles. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 2 works online. There were two other players in the matches I played. There were also other players playing Terrorist Hunt, but I could not join their games due to not having the map they were playing on. The mode I was playing in on Rainbow Six Vegas 2 was like, if you got killed, you wouldn't respawn. So it was one and done when it came to lives. And, you know, you're just supposed to kill the team leader. But since there was one guy playing by himself, you just had to kill him. So... It was alright. Birds of Steel is a combat flight simulator set in World War II that was developed by Gaijin Entertainment, published by Konami, and released in 2012. Birds of Steel seems like a true niche title, therefore I was utterly shocked when a player joined the game I was hosting and even more surprised when the next match started with another person joining us. I found Birds of Steel to be an extremely fun experience flying around trying to shoot down other planes. I highly recommend trying this title out. It was a lot of fun. So out of the 200-some PS3 titles I own, those were the video games I was able to play online. My three favorites were Tekken 6, Birds of Steel, and Bioshock 2. I preferred playing fighting games because it took less players to have a match. Speaking of fighting games, anybody know of Street Fighter Cross Tekken? Are the Blaze Blue games are still playable online? If there are other PS3 titles you can play online, comment on which games they are, please. If you have a PS3, dust it off and enjoy some free online multiplayer. Because why should you have to pay a fee to play a game you already own? Why should you pay to get beat in Tekken? Check out more of my videos if you would like. I would appreciate the exposure. And yo, YouTube, where's my ad money revenue at, though?